Welcome back. Let's get started with this homemade stone. There's a link in the description on how to make these if you'd like to learn how for yourself, but we're going to make this very fun, spooky ladybug. So first I'm going to start with a chalk pencil to line out the ladybug. And I already started crooked with the arch, so I'm going to make one single line down the center, make the arch at the top for the head, and then line out the wings. I want the orange color on this one to be really bright, but neon colors are often very difficult to get a nice solid color with. So I'm going to mix some neon orange with some jack-o'-lantern orange and a little bit of Liquitex gesso to try and get a nice solid color. So it's kind of a custom orange, but still leaning towards the neon side. Because orange is so finicky, this did take multiple coats. I would say it took at least three coats with maybe a little bit of touch up to get it nice and solid the way I wanted to. And I did base coat this stone with gesso, but orange is just a tricky color. So you have to do as many coats until you're comfortable. You could also pick a different color. You could do purple, green, white. Um, you could pick any color combination you want. The wings will be black. So I'm coming through with that second because it's easier to cover up the imperfections of the orange if my lines were a little bit crooked or squiggly. So I'm gonna come back through and fill in all of the edges and the wings with black paint. And this too took a couple of coats to make sure that I got full coverage. And then the stone had some air bubbles in it when I made it. So it has some little teeny tiny divots where you really have to make sure the paint sticks in there and, and kind of sinks into them. You can kind of see those white spots here. And so that's why I needed a second coat of the black paint. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a white Posca pen. This is a PC1MR and outline the top arch where the head will be and then down both of the wings and around kind of the bottom of the wings. This is just to add a little bit of definition to the design and then the next step is the fun part. This is where I'm going to take the extreme hologram glitter paint and a disposable eyeliner brush and we're going to make spider webs in the wings and this look is so amazing once the resin gets on there. It looks a little dull until the resin gets on there but trust me this is amazing. So to make the spider web, you're going to take some straight lines and kind of diagonally kind of starburst them out from that center point. Just straight lines. Make sure the glitter is fairly thick. It's got good coverage. You can kind of put it on the brush thick and pull those out. And we're going to do that on both sides of the ladybug wings. Hologram glitter is kind of translucent and iridescent, but you could use white paint for this. Either would work. The next step is really going to bring the spider web to life. So you're going to create these kind of draping lines in between those diagonal lines that are going out from the center point. And so I usually start at the point closest to the center point and then just create these draping lines moving outward. And I'm going to speed this up a bit so that you can see the process and you'll see the spider web come to life. And like I said, this look is really neat once the resin gets on there and gives the glitter a whole nother bit of dimension. take a large acrylic dotting tool and create my eyeballs. So I'm going to start first with a large white dot and kind of swirl that paint. I had it loaded pretty heavily with paint so I want to swirl the paint out so I don't get cracked paint because there was too much. So two large eyeball dots and you want to make sure these dry really well in between. And then I'm going to create the pupils with neon green paint. And so obviously this dotting tool is smaller than the white one. And again, we have quite a bit of paint there and neon paint is tricky for um, opacity. So I'm gonna kind of swirl this around and try and make sure we have full coverage for the green. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna take some neon purple and neon green 
and add some quick polka dots to the bottom of the ladybug. Those eyeballs are still drying, so I'm gonna take my Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and make some really long eyelashes because I'm also gonna create spider webs out of the eyelashes. So it's the exact same technique that we used with the glitter paint, just using those draping lines in between the three eyelashes. that same fine line pen to go ahead and outline the white part of the eye just the large part and give it a nice black outline for some definition and then I'm going to come back to this with a smaller dotting tool and some black paint and that was a very rough dot I'm going to come back and fix that and add the final bit of detail to the eyeballs I'm going to use my eyeliner brush to smooth out those eyes and make sure they have nice round edges and then I'm going to create a mouth so a nice wide open mouth with a little bit of curl at the sides and then I'm going to create a tongue. It's kind of like the top of a heart a little bit with a red paint pen and then fill in the back with black and it looks like kind of an open mouth laugh or a smile. It gives it a whole lot of personality. A couple more details. I'm going to add some small dots, kind of a larger one and a smaller one in the pupils of the eyes and then some rosy cheeks to the ladybug. I think I would have gone with a lighter color if I did this over again so it shows up better but check out this sparkle after resin. You cannot beat this. I love this glitter technique because it's subtle, but it's also very stunning at the same time because of the shine. Check out the video on the screen for another fun Halloween rock painting idea. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch, and I will see you next time. Take care.